Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jasper Leifling and I'm super excited to be here during episode 63 of this week's watches. Six watches lined up. Let's have a look. As I just mentioned, I'm super excited and the reason is that we found six new stunners for you. Of course, you missed us for a week and next week there will be no drop due to holidays. However, this week we decided to go big. Besides these watches, we stocked up the store with some nice pieces. I'm talking Datejust, Rolex dates, etc. Make sure you pop by the store or send us a message if you're looking for a lower ranged watch. Especially from Rolex, we get a nice stock ranging up from 3,000 to 5,000 euros, not represented in this drop. As we're gonna start with the watch I'm wearing myself, it's a 16803, the very first bimetal Submariner. And this watch is fitted with a beautiful blue inlay and paired with a purple dial. It's just ridiculous. It was in last week's drop and I just can't take it off my wrist. It's so stunning and I'm happy to sell it to you at the price of 7,500 euros. Now let's take a look at the new watches. I said new watches, but obviously I mean old watches. We're talking vintage and we're starting with a 5512, which is the Submariner with a chronometer certified movement. We have one dating back to 1971 with a beautiful dial. It is still kept in a very sharp condition. The only thing that was replaced is the Oyster bracelet, which is slightly newer. Therefore it has these solid links making it even more robust. It is fitted with a T29 crystal, which magnifies the beautiful dial very well. The loom plots, the hands, it all aged perfectly. Take a look at the bezel that is matching nicely, period correct. It is a very stunning example of a rare 5512. Price is 14,300 euros. Up next is a diver that combines the best of the modern world with the looks of the vintage world. We're talking about the 666, one of the only two references that was ever fitted with a matte dial, but with a sapphire crystal. So the dial uh, lacks the white gold hour marker surroundings, giving it a way more vintage look. The dial is very crisp, perfect, maintained. As you can see, the case has been polished, but this diver is a very rugged one, dating back to 1980, therefore still having the matte dial. The later 666s, same goes for the later 16800s, already have the glossy dial with the white gold hour marker surroundings, but obviously we prefer these. They're quite rare, therefore the price at 14,600 euros is very justified, and these watches are climbing many 5513s have been in our position and it's one of the references we love the most and clearly you do too because you keep buying them thank you very much for that but also this is a warning if you're looking for a beautiful maxi dial make sure you pull the trigger quickly because you might end up missing this excellent example dating back to 1983 it is a mk5 dial well aged with the warm plots tritium zinc silicate same goes for the handset the bezel is still very crisp it lacks the oyster bracelet coming on a vintage leather bracelet giving it even more of a vintage touch this excellent example of a plexi no date submariner is priced at 15,300 euros kind of the same price range as the triple six but then again even though it's a diver it's totally different for example, the lack of a date function, also no helium escape valve, and this watch has the Plexi. Up next is a quite an odd Rolex Day Date reference 18239, which is the same reference as the White Gold uh, Day Date. However, this one is the Tridor. Now, the Tridor stands for the configuration that has both yellow, white, and rose gold in it. This is the only made model ever with this color combination and this material combination, and therefore it definitely is collectible. As I told before, this is not your regular day date, but we're happy to have this watch dating back to the late 80s, being one of the very first double quick set three doors in a full set condition with a computer dial, also known as the Jubilee dial with the embossed 
Rolex words on the dial. Pairing this with a three door is just a very, very interesting piece. You like it or you absolutely hate it, but there's no way around it that it is a special watch. It's 15,900 bucks. We are ending this week's drop with two watches bearing the same reference number, a total winner coming in at first place. 16520. We mentioned it before. It's the Zenit powered Rolex Daytona dating back to the 90s. They started, of course, in 1988. And this watch definitely at this point is one of the most collectible Rolex watches, especially if we're talking about the ones with a sapphire crystal. Now we're going to start with the one without the box and papers with a black dial. It's a U serial and the sub dials already turning into a cream color slightly brownish many people called patrizzi this rolex daytona is priced at 23,500 euros now you might think that is a crazy price and it is if you consider it to the value of two years ago when it was around roughly 14 15k however we see the price development keep on going and therefore we're very happy and pleased to offer you a watch that is in this great condition the black dialed Patrizzi U serial Rolex Daytona dating back to 1998 caliber 4030 inside is a beautiful example as I just mentioned it is one of the most collectible at this very point now we're moving on to the one on the right which is even more stunning arguably I have to say some people prefer the black dial however the one with the white dial same serial dating back to 1998 has the full collector set and is in absolute mint condition. It is one of the very finest 1998 Rolex Daytonas. As you can see here in the back, whoppa! We got the box, we got the papers, and as you know, we don't care that much, but the Rolex Daytona collectors love those kind of bullshit thingies on the side, which obviously you have to pay extra for. We got a book dating back to the same year. We got the more books and we got the fucking papers. Anyhow, this watch, as I just mentioned, is slightly more valuable, 24,900 euros. And we're very happy to sell it to you. And I'm sure you can enjoy it both on the wrist as well as an enjoyment for your wallet. It's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We showed you three Rolex divers, the Submariners with the Plexi Crystal, either the 5512 or if you don't care about precision, uh, sort of say, because the 5512 obviously is a chronometer certified one, then you should go for the 5513 with the MK5 Maxi dial. The Sea Dweller 666 is one of the watches we love the most. It's very comfortable wearing this watch. However, still featuring the matte dial and the vintage looks. The three door is the odd one out. It's a watch that we have a love hate relationship with. It is definitely a cool watch and it will fill a beautiful spot in the store. Last but not least, two 16520s, the watch that everybody is trying to get, but it's so hard to get. I'm Jasper Leifering and I want to end this week's watches with my favorite saying, and that is that the best day to buy a vintage watch is today.